Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 1st of February 2024. The Bible reading today is Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Today's article, titled Crouching Low, was written by Amy Boucher Pye. Humility is difficult and can be inconvenient. As my husband and I queued to enter the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem, I thought how fitting it was to see our fellow clergy and their spouses crouching low to enter. Later, I learned that this entrance is called the Door of Humility. And at 1.2 metres high, it reminds pilgrims that Jesus emptied himself as he took on the form of a human being. I hoped that these church leaders, when they returned home to Britain, would continue in this humble posture while following their Saviour. Writing from prison, the Apostle Paul addresses this theme as he encourages the church at Philippi to emulate Christ. He recites what we think is an ancient hymn, lifting Jesus up as the supreme example of humility who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. Paul calls his fellow believers to place others' needs before their own. Through his Holy Spirit, God helps us to love others, to do nothing out of selfish ambition. He enables us to crouch low as we acknowledge that Jesus became a man so that he could serve and save us. Let's pray. Saving Jesus, thank you for crouching low. You bring me new life because you made yourself nothing for my sake. Amen. Thank you for listening today. My name's Peter and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.